And I heard too that you might be doing something different in terms of the releases. That you might be doing three songs at once. Is that? Well, you know what? I, I was gonna do that, but just yesterday, uh, we leaked our first track on LimpBiscuit.com. <gasps> what track? It's called Why Try. You gotta check it out. Awesome. Yeah, it's on uh, LimpBiscuit.com, and it'll be. You can download it off of there and stream it off of LimpBiscuit.com, and. Uh, we're putting a new download up to of a higher quality so if you want to rip it and you know play it or do anything you know it's 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 just to cut off the record that we just for no reason besides a promise to the fans that I would leak something that's Is there a story play. behind the creation of the song or their lyrical content? Um it's pretty self-explanatory okay. when you hear it. It's 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 dedicated to to sucker MCs. <laughs> sucker MCs. <laughs> yeah. Now tell me about other collaborators. I heard something about Ray Kwan being on this record, and I also wondered about Aaron Lewis. I last time we talked, you said that his stuff might end up on your solo record. Yeah, we Aaron Lewis is not on the Gold Cobra. Okay. Um, we uh, did something. I did something with Ray Kwan. We still don't know if that'll be on Gold Cobra or not. Okay. We're still working. I did something with Paul Wall from okay. here in Texas. And uh, is Mathematics? I heard Mathematics, mathematics uh, produced the track I did with Ray Kwan. Now. I know you guys have to go, you got a million things to do, but before I let you go, I did want to ask something that I heard you say that I thought was good advice for any bands that might be up and coming bands that might be watching this. You said that in this business, especially with the landscape of labels and bands having changed so much in the last 10 years, that you have to be your own pirate. What did you mean by that? And what should up and coming bands know about the business end of it? Because I think a lot of people get starstruck and they think, oh, I'm going to be a rock star, I'm going to be on stage, but they don't realize that a lot of what you do as a band is contained off stage in terms of the business side of it. I think pirates are all about survival. Mm -hmm. I think you have to be able and willing to survive mm -hmm. regardless of, you know, some conglomerate, you know, candy making business grabbing onto you or everyone ignoring you. You have to be able to survive and accomplish what you want to accomplish on your own as mm -hmm. a pirate would do, you know, and I think that that's the best way for everybody these days it's it's easier to be heard than ever mm -hmm. and if and if you actually have something that is affecting uh, uh is causing an emotional reaction in people and they want to hear it more right. i mean you have an outlet so many outlets you don't have to wait and sit around and wait on labels and distribution and things you can get it out there so you know the best way to 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 beat a pirate is to be a pirate Awesome. Well said. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations on thank the new you. record. Hopefully we'll see you guys on a headlining tour back in Dallas anytime soon. Any projected oh, dates? Yeah. yeah, this summer. We're, we'll be back. Uh, it starts at the end of June, and we will be here sometime in June or July. Awesome. I don't know exactly when. And uh, I just saw the Deftones play, and they were unbelievable. Yep. Oh, my God. They're well, just if you guys amazing. can stay in town, they're doing their CD, CD release party on Tuesday at Trees, and that's going to be their I first show. I saw that on show, Twitter. So, yep. Awesome. Gotta come out. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. Congratulations again. Thanks for again. having us.